Hey guys, Chris Sama here. So before we get into the video, I uh, definitely wanted to touch on something real quick. Uh, Gumpa Battle, Gumpa Warfare, the the actual like page is uh, doing a giveaway. It's going to be six kits, and the kits are the Master Grade Sinanju Stein. So this is actually pretty cool. I don't really see this too often happen with like mobile games or just games in general where uh, they do the, these really community kind of based uh, giveaways, especially something that's pretty centric to the game itself. Um, I mean, you might see that with some console games, but, uh, you know, none, nonetheless. So this, all you need to do, you go to the page, you make sure you like the page. Um, you go down here and I know it tells you. So all you need to do is like the page, comment on the designated promo, uh, promotion entry, which is going to be this post. Uh, then you're going to be, uh, basically just send a picture of your customized Gumpla. Um, you don't really need to do anything else. Just go ahead and send your image of your favorite Gump Gumpa build within the game. You send a wave uh, via Facebook Messenger to the page itself. Uh, then you must complete all steps. So that's pretty much all you need to do. Limit one person, uh, you know, one entry per person. Uh, the prizes, like I said before, six winners will receive a set of the following. One Master Grade Sinandru Stein. And that's pretty much it. So this promotion is only open to legal residents of the United States and Canada only. So unfortunately if you are in like you know south america or if you're in europe you're not gonna be eligible but if you are in the united states and, and canada hey this is your time to shine guys uh go ahead and try to win a uh, try and win yourself a master grade so not just time but as you see right there there's already 1400 comments so um that's pretty crazy but hey it, you know if y'all if y'all can try and get in there and uh you know post your post your comment and it should be good i'm gonna go ahead and like my boy over here because he's uh he's one of my guys so i'm gonna like your comment buddy uh but yeah that's it so definitely go to that page post your uh kit you have nothing to lose to be honest uh so go ahead and do that and good luck to you Hey, what's going on? Bill, it's Krosama here. And we'll take a look at the Tall Geese 2, which is from the Gundam Wing series. So, the it's all in default colors. It looks beautiful. I absolutely love it. Uh, I do love the blue and the white color scheme. Uh, I will say I'm more partial to the Tall Geese 3 and probably the Tall Geese 1 as well. Uh, just because I like those two designs, they kind of res uh, resonate a little bit more with me and, and kind of my uh, preferences when it comes to aesthetics. Uh, but the Tall Geese 2 is essentially a Tall Geese 1, just a um, tad bit different, just the um, the hairdress, I would say, and the color scheme. Uh, but the uh, what, Dodge Rifle, I think that's exactly the same, or Dober Gun, uh, I think that's exactly the same as the Tall Geese 1. Uh, but pretty much everything else is going to be the standard as Tall Geese 1. Uh, but... It's just, it's one of those suits that I didn't really care too much about when I watched the series. Like, I thought it looked cool. Um, I like the color scheme, but I'm like, mm, I like the all-white kind of approach with Tall Geese 1 and 3. Especially 3, it was just like almost a, a complete overhaul of the entire weapon set. So, really did like the Tall Geese 3. But hey, we're not talking about those today, we're talking about the Tall Geese 2. Now you can pick up this mobile suit in the new uh, exchange for the event that's going on currently. Uh, so I did decide to do these analysis of the event mobile suits pretty much the day of, if not the day after the actual event. So uh, instead of waiting until after the event is already concluded, um, i.e., you know, I haven't done the Rising Gundam yet, so it's really good for me to do these right now. So that way you can really decide if these coins that you start acquiring should be useful for either some parts or for the entire mobile suit or maybe even for none. Uh, but we're going to start taking a look at all the stuff and starting with the head. And of course we go on max value with this. Um, the overall, I'll just talk about the aesthetics real quick. The aesthetics of the Tall Geese head is really nice. I do like the head uh, unit. I think it just looks really menacing. It's it's one of those like mono eye suits that I just, I really, I, I liked a lot more than like a Zaku or something like that because it has like a visor. So I just think it looks a lot better. Now the stats is actually really good. It has an amazing shot attack. That That's actually pretty damn good for a four star in my opinion. Um, now it also has the offense up alpha. So this is, uh, we'll talk about it, it's a buff. And his uh, effect time is 37 seconds. Cooldown is 33 seconds. And then the first time is gonna be seven seconds. So pretty soon within the match, you can go ahead and pop this off. But this has raise your melee and shot attack by 39%. That's goddamn good. <laughs> so, uh, really high uh, increase on your attack boost. And that's that's something I really do like. So, y'all know how I am with the sumo. I think the sumo head is like one of the best head units around. 
uh, this is definitely taking it to another step. Uh, so that's that's really good. Just kind of start your match. Seven seconds in, bam, you're going to start doing immense amounts of damage. And the perk about this is that you can max this up all the way to level 10. Now for the word tags, he's going to have commander, raise shot attack, and beam resistance. 5% while active. Uh, then he has gonna, he's going to have long range, raise shot attack, and shot defenses. 5% while active. So these are really good. Uh, obviously, you're going to want your shot attack to be as high as possible with this unit. I, I feel this unit is definitely more keen to maybe the more mid-range kind of shooter. It could be an outfighter. Um, I don't know why we have trades as an infighter with this mobile suit because I don't. Well, you'll see it. I don't really feel this is a uh, a really top-notch uh, infighter or even a melee-oriented suit. I think this thing is really going to have its uh, shine in the more mid to long shooter class. Now we're going to take a look at the body. Uh, body is fairly average. I think the melee defense and shot defense is a lot lower than what I've seen in previous four-star units. Uh, the armor is pretty good, though. Uh, obviously, its rest of the stats is going to be fairly low. Um, but we're going to have a parts trait. So it's four, with four space enemy, EX skill piercing boosted 22%. I don't really care for these because these are super particular. And four space, I mean... You get some mobile suits out there that is going to have four space. Uh, there's a couple of Gundams, I believe. I think the new Gundam is also a, a four space unit. But I don't think it's really that good because you're, you're banking on your enemy to have this uh, trait. Now, I, I would have to go and look back at it and see if these missions uh, kind of have any indication that um, these word, uh, word tags are being used with a, you know, a story or mission oriented mobile suit. I don't really think so. Uh, now, if that was the case, if you do, if you knew what your enemy had, then yeah, this would be way more applicable. But the fact that you have no idea, like we're just gonna use arenas because that's where I'm kind of focused on is with arenas. So with arenas, this is not gonna be good because you, how do you know? You, you'll never know, and this can be a wasted trait. You are going to want trades that are going to be like permanently active no matter what the situation is. That's why I hate terrain boosts as word tags because it's usually situational. Now you can choose the location so you have a little more control over it. Uh, but I do prefer to have like something that's very set and active and has nothing, nothing's influencing it. So I don't really think this parts trade is good and I think overall the body is not good for this. So this is my, this is my honest opinion. When you're buying um, parts, I would say go with the head, buy the max amount of parts. With this, if you're going to buy extra parts, I would say use them to sell for uh, platinum coins. Uh, otherwise, the body, maybe just buy one part and you're kind of golden. Now, it's also going to have word tags, commander, and long range, much like the head. So, hey, we got two for two. And now we move over to the arms. So the arms are going to have the shield attached as well. So you cannot equip a shield to this mobile suit. Uh, but the stats are looking pretty good. Obviously, the defense is going to be pretty high. Melee attack is not looking so so impressive, to be honest. 1,700, that's not cash money at all. Um, it's definitely a lot lower, especially with, like, we got the Rising Gundam and everything. I think the Rising Gundam has one of the best four-star arms in the game thus far. Um, armor's pretty good, but, yeah, pretty much this is... Uh, this is just trying to make up for you know the fact that it has a shield attached to it, but I think you you would have just been way better off with an actual shield, uh, a different shield to be honest. So let's take a look at the EX skill, Dober Gun. You have category beam shot, piercing a minus, power is D, cooldown, 60 seconds, first time, 15 seconds. So bathe foes and beams from the Dober Gun on your shoulder. So this should be um I don't basically a area of effect because when the beam hits, it should hit everything within that line. Um, and I'll show you whenever we do a uh, kind of like a little test run. But an A minus in piercing is actually not bad. That's this is actually a really good um, EX skill. Uh, word tags being commander, uh, long range once again. So now we're three for three. But I think the arms are really good. If you're gonna go for the arms, uh, I would say go ahead and max it out because of this EX skill. And now moving on to the legs. So legs eh, not really looking too good in terms of stats. The defenses are kind of okay. Uh, now we go to the parse trait. And once again, with four space enemy, mid shot attack raise 14%. Too situational, honestly, it's not good. Not not good at all. I would say don't even invest in the legs. You can buy one just to actually have the part if you really want to. Now he is going to have the word tags, uh, commander and high mobility. Uh, so the high mobility is going to be straying away from the past one. Uh, but commander, hey, definitely going to have four now. And now looking at the backpack, the backpack is super beautiful. I... 
I love the Tall Geese backpack. I think it's just one of the best looking ones in the entire wing universe, to be honest. Um, unfortunately, these stats are still not looking that good. The defenses are very much like average uh, at this point. And then you got to have parts traits with four space enemies, shooting power boosted 25%. It's like these, these traits are good if you're in that actual situation. But it's like, when are you going to be in that situation unless you know that that mobile suit is going to have these uh, word tags? So, yeah, uh, maybe for PvE, th these are going to be really good. Um, if you just absolutely know that the enemy mobile suit of that mission should have those particular word tags, then I guess that's okay. But that's not generally the case. So I would honestly say this is going to be the same case as the previous uh, parts I've mentioned. Not really too good. Probably just buy one just to have it, and the other ones you can either skip or you can buy and just sell for the platinum coins. And finally, we look at trays. So, don't really give a shit about him as a character in the show, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I was never invested in Wing as much as a lot of people are currently. I still don't get it, but I respect your opinion because I like Gundam Age, and people shit on me all the time for liking Gundam Age, but I honestly do think it's a good show that definitely deserves a lot more hype and uh, a little bit more viewership. Uh, but his attribute is going to be technique. That is so horrible. Like, I get it. It matches with the Tall Geese, too. But he's an end fighter. I, I firmly believe most technique mobile suits should not be an end fighter. Uh, technique or uh, well, end fighters should probably be between power and speed. Probably primarily uh, primarily power. That's just kind of like my, uh, my take on it. But it, the AI type is going to be short range, uh, solo, so... I'm still learning the AI types, to be honest, but what this looks like to me is short range. The AI itself is going to be thinking in a short range manner, so it's going to uh, try and shoot with the Dover gun, but it will it will melee attack if necessary. Uh, but the solo, it appears as if this suit works a lot better when it's on the field by itself. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm still kind of learning that. Uh, but yeah, the AI type, I don't know, it, I guess it kind of matches what, what I was mentioning with the... Uh, the Tall Geese 2. And then cost 90, proficiency 10, obviously. Uh, these stats overall are super balanced. Uh, I don't really care for that. Um, balanced mobile suits are okay, uh, but if you're going to use Tall Geese, then it probably wouldn't be your main suit. It would definitely be an ally suit, and I don't think the Tall Geese should be an ally suit. I think this should be a lead suit. So I don't think Trays is really good. I think Infighter does not match. Uh, I think Trays, if Trays was a mid shooter, then we're talking business. Otherwise, in fighters not looking good. Let's go ahead and look at the parts traits. With technique attribute self, 14 chance to survive a fatal blow. That's pretty good. 14% chance is, is not too bad. Um, there's already default four stars that do this a lot better. But if you haven't pulled any of them, then this is a good uh, AI to pull. And you know you can obviously max it out to 14. So. You know, Trey's, ha Trey's can possibly have his moment in a future build, but I don't think Trey's is the right pilot for uh, Tall Geese 2, to be honest. Uh, now, he is going to have the Word Tax Commander and Force Space. I don't know why he has Force Space. Like, that's what you're against. Like, I don't know. Maybe I need to rewatch the series, because maybe there's something going on here that kind of ties into the anime uh, as to why he has these Word Tags. I know Commander and Force Space, you know, he went into space, but... I don't know, it just really seems odd. Like, why does he have four, four space when the entire Tall Geese suit is against four space? So, hey, all you wing junkies out there, let me know in the comment section below what you think about that. Okay, and we're going to jump into the normal mode. Uh, I'm not going to bring a relief model with me. Uh, instead, I'm just going to roll with uh, the Blitz Gundam because, honestly, people are sleeping on the Blitz. I, I, I've been seeing a lot more people running the head and the body. Uh, the head and the body of the Blitz is just fantastic. Everything else you can really replace. Uh, but for the most part, Blitz is an amazing support suit, and that's kind of like my mentality whenever I use him. So um, I'm going to just you know tag him along, and he's just going to be healing me up the entire time. All right, so jumping right in. Ugh, let's go ahead. All right. So we're just going to like kind of play around, not doing any damage because we're like brand new. But at least we get to showcase these uh, these, these attacks. So oh, that was the, uh, that's the spear, the dragon spear I'm using. All right, so offense up. So now, oh, we're taking some damage. Heal me, heal me, Blitz. What the hell you doing? All right. Oh, perfect opportunity. Ah, I think we just missed them. 
So it's kind of weird that he has, I don't know, he has the beam sabers, but obviously we're not using those beam sabers within the shield. Um, and the Dober, the Dober rifle isn't a separate item. I think that would have been way more beneficial if we would have just had the Dober rifle come separately instead of being attached to the arm as an EX skill. I think the arm should have been a beam saber EX skill and the Dober rifle, um, you know, be its own thing with its own EX skill. I'm just going to use my little spear attack. Right. And we got this boy coming out. Alright. Oh, you're all over me. Yeah, this ain't looking good, my boys. Especially as an end fighter. Oh. Uh, oh my god, this is bad. Heal me, Blitz. Where the heck? Oh, what is happening? Blitz, where the hell are you at? I don't know where the hell Blitz is. Blitz is just out there doing his own thing right now. Oh, Blitz is Oh, no! No, Blitz! No, Blitz! I can't do this shit by myself. Oh, Blitz! Well, I think he, I think he just healed me. Okay, yeah, he's good. He's, he's just, he's cloaked in the corner. He's like, I don't give a fuck what you're doing. I'm about to be over here. <laughs> he's like, good luck to you, my boy. God bless you, Blitz. You, hey, you know what? You do, you deserve it, Blitz. You deserve that good rest, even though you cloaked yourself in the goddamn shadows. I still appreciate you. All right, so I've, I mean, we just got one coin, so kind of is what it is. Um. Yeah, we leveled up a couple of parts. But yeah, uh, overall, the dodge rifle attack is okay. That's kind of like all I can say is like, it's okay. Although, uh, the the increase in the melee and shot attack is actually really good. So, overall, yes, I'm, I'm praising the um, I'm praising the head unit and I am praising the arms a little bit. Um, the, uh, yeah, I would say yeah. The, the arms and the head is definitely going to be really awesome. Uh, but I do want to tweak this up just a little bit, so stay tuned for that. And so the reveal of my monstrosity, uh, yeah, I, I think it looks okay. Obviously, it, we're going for more functionality on how you would actually customize a Tall Geese 3. You could just go with, like, the best parts, like, just give it, like, the Tall Geese 2 head and the rest is just a new, uh, new body and arms and all that. But I kind of wanted to make a, a pretty serious approach if I did decide to, like, upgrade parts. Um, but yeah, I just kept the Tall Geese uh, 2's head and arms because I really do think those parts are really good. Uh, the new body, then I gave it the uh, the Dynamis legs, I gave it an axe. Uh, the axe, I think, just has like a really good trait. Um, then I gave it the uh, GNX, uh, I think it was GN, no, GN13. Yeah, the GN13 backpack. Uh, yeah, large Heat Hawk, and then the Hyper Bazooka. So, I, I was able to get the long range uh, boost, so that's kind of like, that was like a priority to me. I was like, long range is definitely going to be better. Uh, then I just, you know, I tried to work and get commander, but that did not work. So, but the uh, the trades, hey, got technique attributes, so got some uh, damage output. Beam uh, range weapon reload speed boosted by 9% by Amuro. And then attacking with beam shooting power boosted 17% by the new uh, body. So, yeah, really try to make this more shooting centric. And so we're going to be going to hard mode. I'm going to be bringing my boy Blitz with me because he is, he's a good asset to have. All right, jumping right in. So this is more or less just having fun, to be honest. Yeah, I think the shooting power is overall is a little bit better. Yeah, we're not in it for the, uh, the melee at all. So get that increase up. Oh, you know what? I forgot to switch the um, the axe ex with uh, the Dynamis's legs. So that's what I wanted to go for: was shoot um, shoot up these guys with the Dynamis legs. Oh, that is so much good damage. But I don't know, man. Like to kind of like conclude a lot of my thoughts with the Tall Geese. I think it's a good mobile suit. Um, I take that back. It's it's a pretty shitty mobile suit. It's probably the worst one we got so far in these events. Um, but its head and the arms are redeemable. I think it does have probably one of the best long range attacks uh, in the game when it comes to its arms. 
Uh, it takes a little bit for the cooldown, but I do think overall it's not too bad. Um, stats are okay. It's definitely more uh, long range centric, in my opinion. All right, I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to use the charge axe because why not? All right, waiting on boy to come out. Come on, doppelganger. There he is. So we're going to activate long range. I'm just going to go with fence up. Oh, he's still attacking me. All right, got that one down. And we're going to finish you off with that Dober rifle. Mm, that's sweet, sweet damage. But yeah, I, I think it's I think it's okay for those two parts. Uh, so me personally, I'm I'm probably going to just buy a bunch of extra and then just sell them uh, in terms of like the the body, the legs, and the backpack. This the whole attacking a four space unit just doesn't interest me whatsoever. There's way better options out there. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep one because I do want one complete tall geese. But uh, I am gonna max out the arms as well as the head. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me, guys. Definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Um, now, is the tall geese too good? Like I mentioned before, head and body. Uh, but if you can, please go and uh, check out NewTypeHQ.com. If you do want like good kits, if you really want fast shipping, uh, NewTypeHQ.com is going to have all that for you. And if you use that promo code Krosama, you can get 10% off all your purchases. Uh, and if you can, definitely like this video, subscribe, comment, and let me know what your thoughts are on the tall geese too. And in the comment section below, let me know what kit you want to see be featured next in the analyzation videos. Uh, but other than that, be seeing y'all later. Bye-bye.